why get da and what in get da that would include syllabus exam pattern vacancy selection process and the roadmap in get da guys starting salary is 6 to 14 lakh per annum entry that is the rough or the average salary so get exam pattern total marks 100 and then the general aptitude basically comprises of 15 marks gate has introduced a new branch that is data science and artificial intelligence in 2024 hello everyone today i am here to tell you why gate da and what in gate da that would include syllabus exam pattern vacancy selection process and the road map in gate da so guys firstly i just like to tell you that why we should appear for gate da guys gate da is a smart investment i'll just tell you how if you see the explosive industry growth and demand the indian data science market was valued at dollar 498.2 millions in 2024 and that is expected to rise to 2551.2 million dollars by 2033 a annual compound annual growth rate of 18.91% and guys according to nascom demand for data scientists in india is expect is expected to grow by 300% guys this is exactly true so you can just see that if this uh, demand is expected to rise by 300% every company every startup every established r&d institute would be needing data scientist ml engineer data analyst data engineer that is why that is why this is the reason that gate has introduced a new branch that is data science and artificial intelligence in 2024 which can actually bring those individuals which have those skills and actually those individuals can contribute to the number of initiatives by the government and in the private enterprises so guys i would just like to summarize all these parameters uh, based on this table the job growth that is 300% increase in demand for data scientist from 2022 to 2030 then guys starting salary is 6 to 14 lakh per annum entry that is the rough or the average salary but yes this is true guys whenever you would start the salary range could be this in this bracket and that could typically be in a double digit range just in 3 years this is very true and in mid and senior salary i mean working for around 5 years 6 years you can easily expect up to 16 to 20 lakh 28 lakh plus uh, uh, per annum and guys market expansion as i told you uh, earlier 18.91% annual growth rate is expected guys what are the job roles uh, job roles are a data scientist ml engineer ai researcher analyst data analyst and data engineers these are very common job role job roles and they are actually required by every industry private enterprises and government yes now what are the top recruiters fang i mean the top uh, industrial uh, industries and indian tech firms startups r&d and academics then yes academic pathways this is one of the major advantage that if you give gate in dno so you can get direct entry into iits triple iits nits for mtech and phd and if you hold a tag of iit nit guys definitely your value would increase once you just step out from these prestigious institutes then guys this is one of the very important points uh what is actually the competition see it is lower than the traditional cs uh, and it gate students why because this is introduced just in 2024 so the, uh, only two years only two papers have been there which people have appeared or students have appeared so you have a early mover advantage for example if you just appear in 2026 2027 uh, number of people are unaware regarding this gate da so this could be one of the biggest advantage that you can easily score a i mean a good score and you can uh, get into these prestigious institutes or you can also land into these important jo job roles such as data scientist ml engineer ai researchers analyst and data engineers okay now i'll start with what in gate da guys firstly i'll just introduce that it was first introduced in 2024 and this paper is offered jointly by iit and iiscs it provide admission to mtech in aids at top institutes like iit hyderabad triple iit delhi okay iisc and much more then you, uh, this score could be used for higher gate studies and also for P, uh, psu recruitments yeah so gate exam pattern total marks 100 
and then the general aptitude basically comprises of 15 marks okay 10 questions would be there and the core da subjects would comprise of 85 marks total questions are 65 which are uh, of the pattern mcq msq and nat then negative mark in, uh, marking is minus 0.33 for one mark question minus 0.66 for two marks question and there is no negative marking for nat type questions and this is the syllabus for gate da you can see that probability and statistics this holds a very major role i mean mathematics holds a very major role where it is divided into probability and statistics linear algebra and calculus and optimization so if you just see this that majorly you have studied this in your college in uh, i mean two or three years okay so this syllabus can easily be covered i mean the syllabus for mathematics can easily be covered if you were serious in uh, your college and if at all you are not there i mean you couldn't score good in college then also it is uh, i mean you can easily cover this by taking certain P, uh, pyqs or certain books or certain institutes which can provide you good i mean support and coaching yes and second one is programming and data structures algorithm this dsa i think this is one of the uh, topic that every csit graduate students do but yes the person from mechanical civil ei this is new for them but yes this is achievable this is manageable if you could get some good guidance definitely this is not that hard then dbms and warehousing i hope you must have studied the word sql okay you must have studied that subject sql that is majorly asked for number of data analysts data engineers so majorly it deals with all those softwares and the related theory then machine learning it is divided into supervised and unsupervised and this is one of the very beautiful subjects where actually you could actually i mean uh, land into these top institutes and with i mean uh, knowledge you can actually also do the research in uh, i mean uh, to a very good level after learning this machine machine learning and yes AI this is majorly about all the algorithms that are introduced I for example in Google map navigation robot planning robot warehousing and number of uh, I mean number of industries yeah yes so uh, this is the subject wise weightage here the general aptitude is uh, comprises of 15 percent probability and status, statistics is of 14%, uh, linear algebra is of 8%, calculus and optimization 12%, programming DSA 12%, database management and warehousing that is 10%, machine learning 11%, artificial intelligence 6%. So I would recommend that you can see the weightage of all these subjects and accordingly you can plan your schedule. Then th these are certain books. Uh, for algorithm and DS, you can actually refer to this Narsimha. This is a very good book or a Corman, uh, or this book Corman, written by Corman. This is also a very good book. Then for linear algebra, Gilbert Strang is one of the best books which have number of quality questions. Then for uh, DBMS, we can have Navethe as this, uh, as uh, I mean, uh, the book which you can uh, study as the reference or you can take that as a reference book. For machine learning, we have pattern recognition and machine learning uh, written by Bishop. This is also one of the very good book. And for AI, artificial intelligence, Stuart Russell and Peter Norway, a good book which you can refer. And for Python programming, we have number of resources. I mean, you can also uh, go online where you can get uh, the basic Python programming uh, knowledge and also you can refer to these books such as I mean the Python programming, a modern approach by Wamsi Kuruma. This is also a very book, uh, good book. Then preparation strategy. So how to prepare for gate DA? There are four pillars of preparation strategy, syllabus completion. So till November, your syllabus should be completed anyhow. Okay, then revision should be done on daily basis. There is no specific month for revision. It should be done on daily basis. Then practice every day i mean every day because consistency matters every day you have to practice and test series probably if your syllabus is completed in november i would recommend that start giving the test uh, in the month of december mid december and in january so this would uh, this should uh, i mean uh, i mean the test series should be there as an integral part in your uh, journey then preparation strategy i would say that make your own handwritten notes for every subject that would help you a lot then before going to attend today's class please revise previous class notes because revision is a very important part then after completion of each subject uh, we have to revise it weekly or on monthly basis as per your comfortability and at the time of revision make short notes so as i told you earlier and try to complete each and every subject uh, and combine subject wise test up to December first week. So this should be your strategy. Okay. And from the last week of December, start full length, uh, full length mock test. So this is very important. And in the last 15 to 20 days, only revise the important concept from your short notes. Then guys, this is uh, the year wise 
uh, mark cut, uh, I mean cut off for general OBC and SCST candidates. So you can see in 2024 paper was extremely easy. So you can see the cut off marks that is 37.1 for general and 33.33 for OBC, 24.7 for SCST. Then in 2025 the paper was bit tough. You can see the difference in uh, the marks that is 29 for general. 26.1 for OBC and 19.3 for SCST and I hope in 2026 I am pretty sure that this would be more tough paper so I think the uh, cutoff would be lesser than this 29 uh, I mean and for OBC and for ST respectively. Then guys final tips for the success firstly stay consistent and avoid burnout because every day matters. Then practice with time bound tests because tests are very important that would actually give you a real time analysis where uh, do you stand. Then we have to revise the uh, concepts in the last one month and I would say on daily basis start revising it and stay calm and confident guys. So if you follow these I am damn sure that you would actually gain a very good mark and I am very sure that you can also go to one of the prestigious institutes and you can also get a very good job. All the best guys and I would just like to show you this is my team which uh, can help you and support you in your uh, journey and you can connect with me anytime whenever you want you can connect me on uh, me on linkedin uh, on github google this is my google scholar profile you can see my publications or you can also uh, connect me on my email id thank you so much